Hi there, we're uh, doing a follow up visit with the patient that's at about four and a half months. Uh, we just want to show you the initial progress and how well the suture is doing. So, if you take a look here, we did a max size case, which is, means we moved as much hair as we possibly can move. We harvested them in this permanent area all the way, the entire way around. This is where the suture line is. So, let's take a look at that. This uh, particular patient cuts his hair with what looks like a two blade. So, this is where it start, the suture line starts. This is the suture line right here that you're looking at, this fine trace line. Um, the great thing about this is this is going to continue to heal for the next year. So this is still healing, believe it or not. So this is where it is at about four and a half months and we have plenty more time for this to continue to heal. So this is the suture line right here. See this little tiny line right here? That's the suture line. A lot of patients are very concerned about suture lines and they seek out follicular extraction because they're afraid to wear their hair short. But as you can see, Suture line, if it's done properly and the patient follows the instructions, it's not, it should be undetectable just the way this is. Um, and this is still not even done healing. Um, now if you take a look at this, we could make, create the same type of look right above that. If you look above here, we can create that same look just like that. So it just looks like a normal, this is a normal crease in the hair. Then let's look below at the suture line. So it just basically looks like a normal little crease in the hair. And we continue around, continue around. This is the suture line all the way up to here and that's how we got all the hair for him and this is going to continue to heal once again for the next year and that's it and that's what the short haircut